Hello and welcome back to Elizabeth Hogarth Designs. And today I would like to show you how to make some DL envelopes to go with the fantastic slimline cards that we're all making nowadays. In the UK, a standard DL card is eight and a quarter by three and seven eighths. So if you take an A4 piece of paper, you can just about fit a card in. So I'm going to show you how to make an A4 um, DL first. And then I'm going to move on and show you how to make a slightly bigger envelope using your own patterned paper and cardstock. So let's start with the A4 piece of paper. So again, it's a standard to the UK piece of A4 paper. And generally that is eight and a quarter by eleven and six eighths inches. So you're going to score along the short side at two inches and six inches. Now this does make it a little bit tight, but it is it is achievable. And then you turn your cut your piece of paper around. And you are going to score along the long length at one and three quarters and ten at three quarters. Let's move our scoreboard out of the way. The next thing that you want to do is to cut away these main panels. So if we score and crease these first. And then I will mark with a pencil to make it easier for you to see where I'm going to cut. If I'm doing a bulk set of envelopes, I will use my paper trimmer to cut these because you can line them up along the fold and then cut away. So for the purpose of this quick video, all we're going to do is we're going to cut using our large pair of scissors these panels away like so the next thing we want to do is to cut away a slim triangle from the top panels so the wider rectangle at the top is your opening flap and the lower one is the seal for the base of your envelope. So we're going to trim away a slight triangle here. Again, you can measure it. Um, it's round about uh, a quarter of an inch down from the top. And then you're just going to angle it in to the top of the rectangle here. And then at the base, we're going to take another small triangle away just neaten that one up a little bit there we go we're nearly there now now this is tight so um, you will need a slim piece of tape to adhere this together ideally you want to use red tape but I don't have any of the slim red tape available, so I'm going to go with my normal double-sided tape. And you want to add a thin strip of tape, or it could be wet glue, along this inside panel of the wider side. And then we are going to peel that away, bring that over, use our foam bowl, bone folder, and then we want another piece of tape along this bottom panel. this
and again we're going to fold it over and then I've got my copper dial or you can use your corner punch just to neaten off this edge here and that is your basic envelope the last little touch that I add is to take a circular punch and just snip away like a quarter of a semicircle really to give myself an easy way of pulling out my card so there's your standard DL card and that fits perfectly inside so this is a slightly larger envelope um, and this is good if you've got some dimension on your card and you just want a little bit more wiggle room or indeed if your your um, card is slightly bigger so let's do the dimension to this this was a piece of patterned 12 by 12 paper So again, we're going to have a standard piece of paper that I've already cut down and this is cut down to nine and a half inches by 11 and six eighths inches. So it's the same length as your standard A4, but I've made the width slightly wider. So again, I've scored at two inches and this time I scored at six and a half inches and then all you need to do is to take away your side panels as you did before add your tape take your narrow panel bring over your wider panel adhere them together Add your base panel punch out a finger space and then you'll add tape to the top ready for when you want to add your card the first thing that I tried was um, embossing the flap of my envelope and that matches the inside panel of my card which I thought was quite a smart little trick just add that little something then I thought if I can emboss the um, flap why not emboss the whole envelope and all I did for this I took Lisa's numerical embossing folder and because this is a DL envelope it was simply a matter of matching this up running it through my die cutting machine and then turning it around closing the flap and running it through a second time the patterns are really easy to match up. I don't think you can even see where I um, had to match up the embossing folder. But it gives it a really impressive finish because on the back you've got it debossed and on the front it's embossed. And that just shows you the quality of those embossing folders. So imagine what you'll be able to do with the new ones that are coming out. So that was another idea. This was another emboss. This is my pink wafer card. So this is pearlized pink cardstock. And again, you can see how brilliantly the padded quilt embossing folder looks. So you've got a different effect from the emboss and the deboss. So these embossing folders will work with anything. And then one more idea that I had was I took Lisa's slimline stencils 
and I made up an envelope with white cardstock, placed my stencil over the top, added some oxide inks and voila, you've got a beautiful, unique envelope to match your card and again you can decorate the flap and the inside. So I hope you'll give these envelopes a try. I think they are a fantastic way of finishing up your project. I look forward to seeing your makes and please do let me know what you think of the video and all of these different designs. Thank you for watching today. Please do subscribe to my channel and hit the alert button to be made aware of any future content. I look forward to welcoming you back here soon. Happy crafting everyone.